let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Testin, take your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Navigator Nostro, climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane turn to take that on the Magic School Bus. Rock the river of lava on the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. kids? Well, there she is. What do you think? Wow! A real live dinosaur! Actually, Ralphie, it's dead. But what are they doing to it? Digging up and dust busting the fossilized bones of dinosaurs is the only way we paleontologists have of tuning in on what a bona fide dinosaur really looked like. So that's just another DOA, huh, Dr. Skeleton? A DOA? A dinosaur out of action. <laughs> That's good. Actually, Carlos, it's a TROA, a Tyrannosaurus Rex out of action. Wow! A T Rex! The killer of the killers! The meanest of the mean! I don't think dinosaurs are so terrible. Then how come the word dinosaur means terrible lizard? According to my research, dinosaurs were not lizards. That's right, Dorothy Ann. They weren't. But they were reptiles, just like the lizards of today. And most of them <laughs> weren't very terrible. How do we really know? Dinosaurs became extinct so long ago, no human being ever saw one. Even if they could have seen one, they wouldn't have lived to tell about it. Now, what makes you so sure of that, Carlos? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> A teachersaurus. Anyone know what you call a 65 million year old dinosaur egg? Egg stink. Oh, get it? Extinct. <laughs> Good yolk, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> so everyone digging the dig? Yeah, it's great. I love it. From the looks of things, Valerie, you really got into it yourself. <laughs> Just like old times, huh, Carmina? Like the time we went to Scotland in search of the Loch Ness Monster? That must have been in prehistoric times. I heard that, Arnold. <laughs> Here, Bonesy, add this to your collection. <gasps> Fantabulous! One of the best examples of a fossilized egg I've ever seen! Oh, come along, class. Sorry to dig and run, Bonesy, but we have to get back. Thanks for a peek at the past. Oh, what are old friends for, Val? Leave no stone unturned. That's my motto. Um, speaking of stones, Dr. Skeleton, can I see that rock? I mean egg? Sure, Arnold. Just be careful with it. We don't find many of these. Wow, I have some great rocks at home, but nothing like this one. Too bad we couldn't find a real live T-Rex instead of that rock. Oh, just think about it. All that fighting and slaughtering. Now that would have been a field trip. As far as I'm concerned, the only safe dinosaur is a dead dinosaur. Come on, you guys. Dinosaurs couldn't have been that mean. Get real, Phoebe. Dinosaurs are the biggest and meanest animals that ever lived. You know, Carlos, to really understand a dinosaur, you need to walk in its shoes. Isn't that right, Bonesy? With knobs on it, Val. Dr. S, come quick. Bye, kids. I'm history. Wait! Dr. Skeleton, you're rock! Buckle up, Arnold. But I've still got Dr. Skeleton's rock. You'll have plenty of time to give it to her when we get back. Get back? Why do I have a sneaking suspicion? Ah! <laughs> 
As I always say, you can turn the clock back if you've got the right hands. Uh, right, Liz? Here we go. Is it just me? Or did someone hit rewind? The dig is undigging. We're going to be unborn. Now I'll never know what I was going to be when I grow up. On the other hand, Phoebe, there is no time like the past to take chances, make mistakes, and get messy! Arnold, once an egg, <laughs> always an egg. But what's Dr. Skeleton going to say? Now, don't worry, Arnold. You've got plenty of time. Millions of years, in fact. Now, let's get out there and explore! <laughs> oh, the best thing about time travel is that it's easy on the tires. Um, <laughs> Ms. Frizzle? How far back have we come? Oh, 67 million years. Give or take a month or two. 67 million years? That means we'll probably see... wouldn't have been very happy if her egg broke. I wonder what kind of dinosaur laid an egg this big. <laughs> what? Hey! Hang on, Phoebe! I'm trying! <laughs> Come back with my egg, you thief! It doesn't belong to you! <laughs> Come to think of it, it doesn't belong to me either! Now, now, don't play with your food, little Alamosaurus. <gasps> oh, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, 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 bad. <sighs> Hurry, before it eats us for lunch. Seems to me it wants to eat the leaves, not us. Tim, they're still dinosaurs. Ferocious, mean, nasty, dinosaurs. I think maybe solid was the main course. Mm, a perplexing proposition, isn't it? Are dinosaurs ferocious or friendly? Sweet or savage? Murderous or... What is it, Liz? Arnold. Phoebe. An ornithomimus? See, 
I knew this would happen! The dinos did him in! travel to any hasty conclusions. Miss Frizzle's right. They're not acting like bloodthirsty killers. Chalk up another vegetarian, Liz. Hey, look! There's Arnold and Phoebe! They're still alive! Yeah! Let me see! That critter they're chasing looks awful small to be a dinosaur. Oh, don't judge an ornithomimus by its cover, Carlos. Dinosaurs come in all shapes and sizes. Hey! If we could just send a message to those peril whatchamacallits to get out of the way, we could get across the river and save Arnold and Phoebe. Dynamite idea, Carlos. Exactamento, Wanda. And since most of these shells are pretty trampled, I'd say the babies hatched a few months ago. Uh, what kind of babies? Big ones! And here comes Mama! <laughs> Doesn't look to me like she wants to fight. Maybe she thinks we're her babies and just wants to take care of us, like a good mother should. If she sees us, she'll eat us! Die for cover! Oh, no. What if she wants to feed us? Gross! Berries that have been chewed and spewed are nutritious and delicious. And the babies just love a good ABC fruit salad. What's an ABC fruit salad? Already been chewed! <laughs> I say we make a run for it before we're D-E-F. D-E-F? What's that? Digested, eliminated, and forgotten. Carlos, wait. They're not meat eaters. They're even good mothers. Come on, class. <laughs> Sure, 
of one thing, Phoebe. If someone would have told me that I'd be chasing a hungry dinosaur, I would have gotten off the bus a few million years sooner. I knew the bus would be around here somewhere. <laughs> Looks like it made some friends. Friends? Are you kidding? Come on, we've got to find Arnold and Phoebe before it's too late. Before those dinos... Don't say it, Carlos. The Triceratops won't hurt us. They're plant-eaters, just like the others. Here you go, little one. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's a pack of Troodons! And they do eat meat! No kidding! That's not a head of lettuce he's chasing! Oh, bad! can't get to the baby Triceratops because the big ones are protecting it. Oh, good. But they can get us. <laughs> Not with these, they can't. Tricera shields. My own little invention, of course. What are they doing now? They're trying to figure out which one of us to eat first. <laughs> I don't think so, Carlos. Looks to me like they want an easy lunch without a fight. The horns scared them away. They were afraid of getting hurt. Phoebe! The egg! It's next to that big rock. <sighs> now Dr. Skeleton won't be mad at me. It's stuck. Mm. Mm. Something tells me we shouldn't be here. Like what? <laughs> policy covers dino damage. The T 
Rex doesn't act so tough against someone his own size. Yeah! Yay! Way to go, Arnold. You did it! Boy, did you look mean, Arnold. But we all know you're really not. And you didn't even have to throw a punch. You know something? I don't think the T-Rex wanted to fight any more than I did. And he certainly didn't want to take any chances. Or get messy. One thing's for sure, there are a lot more planet-eating dinosaurs than meat-eaters. And those that do eat meat aren't bloodthirsty monsters. Yeah, they're just looking for a quick meal without getting hurt. So I guess you guys are right. Dinosaurs aren't so mean after all. And I can give Dr. Skeleton back her egg. Except I'm too big to fit into the bus. With a few adjustments, you could be the bus! Crowdy! Well, time to go small! <laughs> It's a good thing you didn't stay home today, Arnold. Well, uh, well, I'll sure be glad when this is a rock again. It's a lot safer. Let's go, class. We've got a long drive back to school. <laughs> yeah, like 67 million years. Fun sure flies when you're having a good time! <laughs> I almost forgot to give you back your egg. Oh, I'm sure it was safe with you, Arnold. Thanks. Up here, Dr. S. What an unusual geologic formation. Hmm, I wonder what strange creature left that. I'd say it was a Sneakersaurus. Carlos! <laughs> 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 Carmina Skeleton speaking. Is this the Dr. Skeleton that was just on the Magic School Bus show? Why, yes. What can I do for you? Well, I've been trying to reach the producer, but he's all tied up, and I have some probing questions about the dinosaur show I just saw. Dig away. First of all, everyone knows that nobody's ever seen a real live dinosaur. You're absolutely right. But we do see lots of fossils of the bones which make up their skeletons. Okay, so then how can you say which dinosaurs were herbivores and which were carnivores? Oh, that's easy! Fossil teeth! The plant eaters, you see, had flat grinding teeth, and the meat eaters had pointy cutting teeth. Well, thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> Kids these days, they are just so inquisitive. Hello? Hi. I was wondering, if nobody's ever seen a real live dinosaur, then how could you possibly know that a Parasaurolophus made a noise like this? Oh, that's very good. And you are right. No one knows exactly how dinosaurs behaved or what they sounded like. You see, we use our imaginations and make educated guesses. So all that stuff about the T-Rex not being so mean was another one of your educated guesses, right? Absolutely right. Thanks for calling. Wait a minute. So no one's ever traveled back in time and seen real dinosaurs? Absolutely not. Time travel is impossible. Even for Ms. Frizzle? Oh, <laughs> even for Ms. Frizzle. Thanks a lot, Doc. Ah, like it or not, I don't think even Ms. Frizzle could go back in time. Still, it would make a good field trip. If it were possible. Oh, but of course it's not. Yo, 
goes right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day. 